I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Nah, them niggas not like us, we tied in Going back in the fall, shot rack in the wall, crack in the pool, dry skin Post it like Shaq in the fall, but I'm in the field like a tight end Yeah, yeah, yo, Ars, 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 before you stick a fork in me, come take this walk with me I wanna holla at you, first of all, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right Um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna talk about this battle, and first and foremost Want to give a lot of love and admiration to the man Arsenal. Arsenal showed today in his battle versus official how he can consistently win battles and diffuse his opponent's confidence with what he does. Like, he can rattle his opponent by putting constant pressure, bars. Some people even like love to call it filler, but what he did today was a clear example of how his cadence and what he's able to do line after line after line after line and he's using disrespect entendres and he's using almost a bully like style because he's not using no big time punches like he'll put a, he'll put the word like in front of something and I do got bars trust me I do and he puts the word like in front of a couple things oh yeah and if you respect the handle make sure you subscribe to the channel um but he can put like in front of something every now and then, but I don't really look at those as like super big as like, super as like, super big haymakers, but he uh he he definitely was ready for official today. Um coming into this battle, a lot of folks felt like official was at an advantage because not only has she battled on Queen of the Ring a lot, uh she's battled against dudes, you know what I'm saying? She's had her fair share of battles against men. Uh, whether you feel like wins, losses, or whatever the case may be, and then the fact that she punches at a high rate. But after Arsenal's first round, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I can call this like I call it so I don't spoil it. Um, if you watch this channel for a while, myself and Showtime SP, we've broken down battles and been able to give you know our unbiased, unmitigated view about what we saw. Um, in this one, Arsenal comes out, uh, they're gonna have to check the tag to make sure it's official like Mitchell and Ness. He said, oh my kid, you brought your wig from the Aki shop. And then he, he had another line about like, you ain't get your wig from the same place that Geechee Gotti got or something like that. And then he said, you into niggas that like niggas that watch battles and shit. And then he said, he had a line, point one to the head, I'll alfalfa you or something like that. Didn't like it because it was too close to the point one the joint that Av had back in the day versus Rum Nitty. But he was wilding all through his first. He's wilding. He's barking on him. He's talking about her, her style, him not wanting to hit it. Like, he's just going crazy on her. Official comes out, uh, kill everyone around, and leave smack dead in the middle. That was fire. Uh, I'm a fucking rider like Mike P, bitch. There was a lot of the Mike P, bitch lines in there. She, she got, like, maybe four or five lines the whole night. Uh, <clears throat> then she said... I wave with this 40th, the main event. King Von, I'll kill that nigga from 63rd. Like, if you're from the Shire, you're from the Midwest, or you know about the King Von, the 63rd, that was crazy. Uh, pretty good round and all. Uh, I had Arsenal. Arsenal second round. Uh, nine with me. Not the little nigga that's headed to the fifth grade. Call yourself a visual and you ain't verified. He was talking about her not being verified. And he said, I'm, I'm seasoned like checkers fries. If you've had checkers fries, you know they're pretty seasoned. Uh, he said, Jazz always with you, but that's going to make her a target with you. You know, always with you, but that's going to make a target with you. He just starts going into them, being in hard. Like, he just starts breaking down Official's whole lifestyle right in front of her. Watching my life go down. And after her first round, I just seen a little bit of, uh, just, just a little bit of the normal confidence. Like the confidence she had versus, uh, versus Misfit in that battle. And then a lot of other battles. Like that confidence, that sheer I know I'm that bitch, like, I'm, I'm, I know I'm finna get, I, I, to me, this is just me on my small channel, I just see some of that confidence start to disappear, I'm just saying, it went from here to here real quick, it went from here to here real clear, um, 
So in her second round, Don't Call Me Nigga, I'm African, that was fire. She said everything split down the middle. Then she had air with the heat condensation line. She seemed a little flustered and the breath control. I don't know. She said, uh, show me the ropes just to get hanged by it. Uh, and all throughout her rounds, like, it just was not her cleanest night. I'm sorry. Like, I, I fuck with what official does when she's in her bag and she's on her shit. But that pressure that Arsenal was applying throughout the rounds, it just seemed like I had Arsenal up too. Fuck it. Let's make a long story short. Um, Arsenal third round. I'm the only nigga on the card that's gonna match your energy, bitch. And then he said, uh, everybody's talking about I'm always with L Wisdom and he's a cop. Oh, I hit L with the with the stick. I bet he chop O, oh, L Chapo, oh, L Chapo line. Insert L Chapo line. Then he said, uh, you 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 out your Michelin. He said he's like, you he said, my shit is real, my shit is raw, my shit is authentic. You can't he said about about almost two minutes into the round, it sounded like he was ending his round. And I kind of was like, I know in my mind. I said these things in my mind. He's like, my shit is real. My shit is raw. My shit is authentic. He said, you out your Michelin man shaped mind if you think that was the way I was going in it. And then he just starts going in like more bars, more bars. He said that the, the 100 clip went from 100 to 55 like it saw a, like a scene of state troop or some shit like that. Arsenal just started going on in. You ain't even okay, O. I wouldn't even fuck you on a snow day, oh. I was like, oh my god. He just starts wilding. Like, why'd you start rapping to her like that? Oh, you ain't even have to do all that. Arsenal was very mad tonight. I know Arsenal be on some bullshit sometimes, but he wasn't on no bullshit tonight. He wasn't on no bullshit tonight. Official, her third round. Y'all can insert what she said. I don't got nothing. Look. I got a fish third. I don't got nothing. I that was the end of Arsenal. I had nothing. I I I got nothing. I'm sorry. I got nothing for you. I got Arsenal winning 3-0. I just felt like she was really flustered. Like it was like it, it was unlike a. She seemed very. Maybe it was the leather jacket. I don't know what she had the leather on. You know what I'm saying? She had the dirty Diana, the dancing dirty, the the, the leather on with the microphone over the leather. I don't know, bro. You got the. Uh, she wasn't comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the leather was the, it was the Harley Davidson joint. It was, it, I don't know you like this. Oh, come on, man. Like I expect, I, I wanted you to, I picked you two one going into this joint, but I, I, it was the leather. It had to be, I don't know what it was, man. You, you, you had too much on, man. It, it, I'm sorry. I don't, mama, I'm sorry. I don't know, but, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. Um, Arsenal was in a special bag tonight. Arsenal was battling like he knew damn well he couldn't lose to no female tonight. I don't know when niggas ain't get that message out to surf. Niggas ain't, uh, niggas ain't, niggas ain't get the, <laughs> niggas ain't get it out. Uh, I'm sorry. They ain't get the message out. I'm sorry. Uh, they, they, it, it was, it was, uh, it was crazy, man. I, I mean, you had, well, besides the Arsenal battle, you know what I'm saying, you had Sue Surf versus 40 Bars, where Sue Surf wins the first round and then loses the second and chokes in the third. So, guys, y'all won the event four battles to three. But, nigga, if the, if are you telling me if a WNBA team plays an NBA team, they're going to win this series four games to they going to go game seven? You niggas had to go game seven with the females? That shit's crazy. Uh, but Arsenal was in a special bag tonight. I mean, he 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 definitely was not playing nobody's games. He was not being fucked with. He did not. He said, he took it personal. He said, if, if, if it's going to be the game winner, I'm going to be the one that's going to hit the game winner. I want to be that one that's on the line. I want to battle. I want to I wanna be the one. And he's the one that took it home from him. But, I mean, whew. That shit was crazy. I mean, wow. I, I, wow. I, I mean, but Arsenal, Arsenal got in his bag. Not going to lie. I definitely, um, I definitely know that, uh, that that was great. That that was definitely great. Uh, for the females, like they did, they did really good tonight. You know what I mean? They did really good. Uh, they showed out. And this is what you want to see. This is what you want. This is exactly what's going to help continue to build the battle rap culture on a big on a cultural perspective and help build brands and push people to the next level because I loved it. I loved it. It was crazy. It was great. It was very, very good. And I tell you this, 
uh, Arsenal, you, I'm glad you, you wasn't playing. Because if you would have played and lost to official, and then Sue Sir turned the right around and, and, and lost to 40, the, oh my God! Oh! What? Y'all would have lost the series, it would have been even worse. If y'all would have lost the series to the females, you niggas would be getting fried, died, and swooped to the side. I promise you. It would have been a long night for y'all. And the only thing open after after midnight is legs and fast food. Y'all niggas would have been getting fast food and, and some and some box from the females tonight. Because uh Arsenal was in his bag. I, I, I congratulate Arsenal. I salute Arsenal. Uh, you know, I don't try to be too overcritical because I know he's at a point in his career where he's doing the music, but he's still doing the battle rap shit too. But he showed tonight how you could win a battle without using a lot of punchlines. People people always want to just be on this punchline, punchline, punchline shit. And he's doing it without... I, I tweeted. I tweeted for my tweeters. Arsenal shows how you can win battles and diffuse someone's confidence without using punchlines. That's what he did. It is what it is. I mean... How, how you want to call it? I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. But anyway, you already know what it do or what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game. <sighs> My guys. Subscribe to the channel, too. Little ho. Yo. No. Them niggas not like us. We tied in. Going back in the fourth. Shot rack in the wall. Cracking the pool. Dry skin. Post it like Shaq in the fourth. But I'm in the field like a tight end. Put your life.